I lost all sensation and movement below my pelvis. While adaptive technology has enabled me to relearn how to ski, I'm a better skier now than I ever was before. I can kayak, I can rock climb, hand cycle, I can do it all. But nothing had been invented that enabled me to learn how to walk again until now. And so with, with the, the gift of bionic technology, I truly believe that anything is possible. And hope was robbed from me, but now there's every reason to spread hope around the globe. And that's why we're here in, in the United Kingdom, and we're introducing EXO to Europe. And so let me let me show you just how I walk. I mean, it's such a thrill to stand up in the most natural stand ever, but it's even better to walk. And keep in mind, I've been paralyzed almost 20 years. Wow. Shall, we, shall we go for it? All right. Here we go. And it's just a step up or a step, uh, heel to toe. And the company has been working so that individuals like me, who have sustained a spinal cord injury, are able to walk in the most natural gait possible. So if you notice, my legs are bending in the most natural knee flexion. And I feel like I've got springs in my ankles. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Hi. <laughs> it's really cool standing up and looking at all of you eye to eye. So you're gonna experience it one day, I swear. So I'm looking at all of you at the same level and I can't, can hardly describe what that feels like. Okay, let me turn around. And the gentleman behind me, his name is Thomas. Thomas has a name, and uh, <laughs> whoops. And um, he is our EXO expert, our product expert, who is actually walking with me in um, therapy mode. So he's activating my legs to take a step. When I work, walk with the smart crutches, the smart crutches or the human machine interface, then that's when the crutch actually triggers the opposite leg to take a step for me. And so we have both designs, and this, uh, both designs will be available first thing in 2012. All right. Can I uh, ask you a couple of questions? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first, how long have you uh, been an uh, exopilot, like we call it? <laughs> I've been an exopilot for a little over a year. I took my first steps in EXO in uh, July 25th, 2010. And it didn't take me long, only about 1,200 hours under my belt to walk independently of tether. So the learning curve is really fast. Excellent. And uh, what's been, uh, what can describe best your, your feeling when, when you are in EXO? <laughs> Aether is to stand eye to eye with you. Up here in front of the audience, and it's such a beautiful contrast because I'm standing and most of you are all sitting. So it's a nice role reversal. Perfect. And uh, when you vision, I mean, at the moment, obviously, this is uh, available for uh, rehabilitation centers, home, uh, for, for uh, hospitals, but not yet for homes. So how do you vision it uh, when you can take it finally back uh, to your home uh, in Colorado, in Aspen? The one, well, I guess it's going, I boil it down to the simple pleasures in life. And to be able to go to the grocery store and reach for something on the top shelf. But what about just simply standing in my kitchen and seeing what's in the stove while I'm cooking? What a concept. And to be able to reach for the top item in the in the kitchen cabinet. I mean, that's that's easy now. I can't do that from this height. And so I, I think I'll enjoy the real simple pleasures and then maybe I'll be able to slow down someday with someone that I love in my kitchen too. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So, uh, I think with that we want to open it up uh, for, for any questions uh, from the audience. If, uh,